about this? In st and I'm going to give the choice to you. You can either protect each for one dice, or you can protect one for two dice. I'll protect each for one dice. Okay. All right. I need both of them on my. You, know, you need them well, alive. Not, yeah, I need them alive. Then they'll just be dead, Jim. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and move back up. Uh, Duota, you were actually a uh, uh, forward stance. So, uh, hmm? Said, uh huh. Okay. Um, do you have anything that you can really do? Or would you prefer to, to change over to a defensive stance, which will make it harder to hit you? Or do you have a bow that you want to be able to attack with? Huh? I do not have any ranged weapons. So. Okay. Then might I recommend defensive stance until you close with them? Will I close the gap? Yeah, until the gap is closed. Because they can only move so fast, you can only move so fast. But don't forget, you can still move forward. Uh, but if you do that, I'm going to give... Um, I'm going to give Norrin back the two dice to protect Luthwin. Now, if you want to stay with Luthwin for that protection, that's fine. You'll each get one dice of protection, and that's good. What do you think? I'll stay here for now. Okay. I'll stay where I am for now. Okay, sounds good. Um, then, Yult, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm going to try to once again, hit that goblin. Okay. Arc in the back and try to take it down. Do you want to try and reduce the distance so that you can get into short range? Yeah, I'm going to try to reduce it a bit. Okay. Don't forget, you can move a number of spaces equal to your strength score. Right, Not the right. target number, but the, the little number. Right, right. Let me see. My character sheet closed, so I need to move to three. Oh, all right here. Okay. And but you want to hit the archer, right? Yeah, I'm going to go for the archer. Okay, well, he's right here. So that's 19 meters away. That is right inside short range. You are at the maximum limit of your short range. So, um, yeah. Now, it's dark where he's at, so I have to give you a penalty of two. So your difficulty number is going to go up by two. So double right-click on him. There you go, to right. target him. And then go ahead and uh, roll your bow. You said minus two, is that right? Uh, well, it's a penalty of two, but it's just going to make your target number in the upper right-hand corner uh, or upper, well, middle area of the upper part of your sheet. Uh, of the window that comes open when you go to fire at him, it's only going to make it two points harder. So if you've got a 15, it would turn to a 17, uh, etc. Right. Gotcha. All righty. Hey, here we go. Please, 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 please. Holy crap. God um. Okay. It. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. That's marked as a failure at a 13. Let me look at your character. You're good. You're good. Come on now. Okay. Rooms and a one. Okay, so 15, 16, 17. You need a 17 to hit. The difficulty number is 17. You've got that on there, of course. I should have read that first. But it might be worth it to see what else we can do. Okay, Beast Lord right, and What's that? Yeah. Four and a half, they have four and five and six. Um, yes, in, in this particular instance, since there are no dice added, uh, but that would only be a three, uh, so that would, he needs total of, of four more to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. You've got a shepherd's over, bow. He's home, he's home, he's so, like a 50-50 so, chance. Yeah, four or five or six on the roll, and... Yeah, hang on. When a bow of okay. any type is deemed very powerful, the woodman of the mountain hall treasure it. Okay, if you roll a great or extraordinary success, which you didn't, it was a failure, but... Okay, so... Hmm. <sighs> Ross, I'm not sure how to do it on this one, because on first on the first edition game system, 
they uh, have it so that the hope you can roll the hope straight from your uh, uh, card in in the chat. Yeah. But in yeah. this one, they don't have that. So do I, I do I go yeah, with the extra D six? Yeah, you just since they didn't add the hope to the roll. No, they, they did, did not. So they're gonna have to roll it separately. I can roll a D six real quick. Yeah, see, that's what I, I should have had uh, Duota do also, and and I did not. That's my yeah. fault. Uh, okay, so, yeah, go ahead and reduce your hope by one, not the small mm -hmm. one that's marked max. Yeah. Um, right. And then roll a D6. Yeah, and hope you have four or better. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's hope. Well, that's what you just used, so. Yeah, five. There you go. There you go. Okay, so that hits, and it makes it a an extraordinary success. So, you have a choice, and we have to do this um, uh, out of the book this time. Let me yeah. let me get back to it. Special damage. Okay, you can uh, you can do a heavy blow, which gives you your strength rating in endurance. Um, so I'll make that a seven for the uh, the damage for that one. Uh, I'm sorry. What was that? That'd, that that'd be a seven, seven total then, because the great bow is four, and then my strength is be a three. So the total damage for that yeah. type would be seven. Be yes, seven. it would be That's seven. Fine. Or fine. Fine. or if you want to, uh, let's see. No, you only rolled a one on your feet die, so pier a piercing blow is not in the cards for you. Yeah, no, so it had to be just a strong mm -hmm. attack. Okay, so seven on that guy. Um, okay, come on, open up. He was already injured, so hopefully... Yeah, he only had two left, so he's minus five. Oh, it won't let me put a minus. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna put a zero, and then I'm going to do... Uh oh mark him dead. Yeah, I'm going to mark him dead. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, I killed someone, yay! Yay! Okay, so let's see. Uh, let me get back over to the combat tracker. Which one is that? That's that bottom archer. So I am I am going to... No, wait a minute. He can still attack until the end of the round. So in second edition, they made it so that uh, uh, bad guys are not dead automatically. They make it to the end of the round, and then they go, oh, all of a sudden. So, But that was a nice kill. That was a good kill. Um, okay, Luthwin. I don't know if I like that when he made it to the end of the round. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I like it myself. Matter of fact, you know what? I really don't. So, let's see. Remove combatant. Okay. So that'll take care of that. Luthwin, it is your turn. Okay. Let's see. By the way, you don't know the archer's dead yet. <laughs> Do, 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 do. You probably heard ah, 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 and then silence. And roll. Okay. So uh, what exactly are you doing? Who are you hitting? Did you mark them? Uh, okay, you're uh, hitting yes, this guy? Them. Okay. Yep. Hitting that guy then. Oops, I forgot to bring the difficulty down to fourteen. Whoops. Uh, why would you bring the difficulty? Oh, uh, no, that's uh, minus one dice, or plus one dice. So, actually, just roll another d6. Because of your night vision. No, I already added that in. Oh, you're... You told me that the, that the difficulty to hit them was 14 the last time to do it. Oh, um, let's see, this time... Let me let me pop open. Let's see. Let me pop open your sheet and see what's what's going on here. You've got that guy targeted. You're gonna roll your bow. Up. Oh, stop. Stop. Okay. Let me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Um. Uh, that. 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 Okay. So let's see. Yeah. Target number of fifteen. And why did I tell you it was a 14 last time? I don't know. You just told me it was. 
let's see, you've got, um, oh, let me scroll back up and find this out. You've got the speakers and close fitting armor. You've got, wait a minute, I thought you had, oh, yeah, you do. Folk of the Dusk. Gain one whole dice for all common skills. In the, oh, that's all common skills in the dark. I'm sorry. I have led you the wrong way. Oh. Your, your weapon skills do not get that bonus. Okay? Only oh, your okay. common skills. That That's my fault. We're going to leave it as it is for this turn. Um, hope point bonus. See, you can add a hope point bonus in there, but it's almost like you have to spend it straight out. Support from a companion. Inspired. Okay, that's really freaking weird. Yeah. So they want you to put the hope point hope point bonus up front. Yeah, you can spend it up front. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, you did miss. Okay, in this particular instance, I don't remember why I would have had you reduce it to 14 last turn. Well, she so can use hope and try to hit. Yeah, if you want to use hope... um. We can. Yeah. Um. I would like to find out. Hey. Let me. <sighs> Crap. Okay, I got to figure out how to do the hope thing, so that we can maybe put it into your um into your macro bar. Uh, let me let me mark that down. Uh, let's see. Uh, find out how to hope and to ED tour game system. Okay, I will look that up and and see what we can do to change that. But for now, if you would like to spend ho a point of hope to do that hit, uh, it would turn out to be a great success. And you could use that for the extra damage thing. Sure. Okay. Just reduce your hope from 11 to 10 on your character just sheet. Hmm? I just did. Okay. There there we go. It, it takes a minute for the server to get back, I guess. Okay. And uh, just roll 1d6. 1. Okay, so that will do the trick. Um, that will get you up there. And let's see, your feet die only rolled a two, so a piercing blow is not going to help you. Would you like to add that extra few points for the piercing blow? Hey, what? Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. Your, your strength is five. Oh. Your strength Christ, is five. Yeah, I did it. I... Okay. Uh... What happened? Uh, I just realized something. I clicked the wrong thing again. I clicked the weapon, not the proficiency. No, you don't have to click the oh, proficiency oh, oh, oh. for that. You you still collect, click the weapon. You're good with that. Um, oh, then the uh, uh, choice options didn't pop up for me. Okay. Now the question... Okay, that added because of that. And no, no, those choice options weren't supposed to pop up because I don't know how to do the hope. So I've, I've got to figure out how to do that hope. It doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to spend that hope if you want to, and it works just fine in the other, in, in the first edition version. I'm, I'm hoping something's coming soon. Anyway, um, so... Okay, got that. Uh, okay, so then your damage for that... Uh, your bow is a what? It's a 3 plus 5 for your strength, so that's 8 damage on that guy. So, I I think that one's done too. Yep. So, 0. Yeah. Yep. So, that's let's see. <laughs> okay. Shot. He's dead, Jim. So nice shooting Tex. Okay, so it's that guy right there. I'm going to go ahead and remove... Oh, no, that's Luthwin. Hello. I don't want to remove that one. There's that one right there. Okay, so I'm going to remove that combatant. Okay. Um, so let's see. That's the... 
end of you guys. What's that? That didn't do anything on my screen. When uh, you said to remove combatant. Uh, uh, it won't take away the token. It just takes it off of the combat encounter. Um, oh, okay. Let's see. I need to figure something out. Okay, and it's going to be based on the orc guard. Uh, let's see. We can do that. I think that'll be fair. And I'm going to do a GM roll. Come on. Increase. Thank you. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do a GM roll on that to determine something. Uh, go from there. Okay, um, the orc guard turns tail and starts running. And his three orc soldier companions with him. Because none of you have been put down yet. Uh, all of their spears are gone. And uh, they can no longer uh, do anything. <laughs> okay, uh, because by the time that they would close to to fight with you guys, they would be uh, way out of their league. Okay, so <laughs> uh, happy about that, huh? Okay, so I'm going to end the combat. Let's say let's say this: um, the other three orcs. Wait a minute. Okay, no, that's not. Well, no, there's this one down here. Don't forget oh, this one. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. But so the, the remaining three orcs are trying to run away. Um, uh, let's see. Ewald and Luthwin. Roll me a d6 each. Okay. And let's see. That was Luthwin. You said it. You said I need to roll a d6? Yeah, forward slash r space 1d6. I just remember if you said it, I just got cut off guard for a moment. Hold on, I got you. Okay. Okay. Uh, ah. Luthwin, uh, your last arrow at them flies wide while Ewald's hits in the buttocks of one of them. So you, yes. you, you can <laughs> see yeah. so you can see him uh, going and limping off so okay in combat <laughs> now do you guys want to take a little while and rest and there's a reason that I ask uh, well can we search the bodies can, uh, can you can... can you do what Search the bodies. See if we can find the. Sure. Uh, um, sh sure. Anyone yeah. who wants to try and search the bodies, make a scan roll. Um, if if you want, you can search. Let's see. There was a total of seven of them. So uh, you can you guys can make a total of seven scan uh, scan rolls together if you want. And then I'll interpret. Ooh, okay, that's really nice. I'll give it a shot. I'm, I'm looking for the circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's a good success, or just a, a success. Uh, okay, so that's Duota and Luthwin. Wow. Okay, so let's start with Norin. What are you hoping to find? The sickle. The oh no, no, the sickle is is not going to be found among any of these. Oh, I'm going to oh, tell you that right now. What else are you hoping to find? Clues and where it went. Um, no, no. It appears that these guys, from from their dress, their equipment. Um, and if you were to try and trace their tracks in the morning, uh, their steps are not from anywhere in, in the direction or from the direction, uh, that you're trying to go or from which you came. It was mm -hmm. very literally a random encounter. Oh, okay. Never okay. Mind, then. Okay. And just looking for treasure. <laughs> okay. Right. Um... Let's, let's say this. Um, 
let's say there's a total of, yeah, why not? One point of treasure each. So on your character sheet, um, well, this is for everybody. So on your character sheet, you can scroll down to where it says treasure, which is near the bottom, mm -hmm. and increase that by one point. Okay. Okay. Now, um, are you guys going to go ahead and take a rest? Uh, Maybe even set a camp. It might be a good idea because I'm like down half my nerves. <laughs> well, actually, this is why yeah. I'm addressing it. So, uh, I. Mm -hmm. I am like the same right now, so I'll also will. I'm willing to take a rest. Okay. Well, you're going to love what I'm about to tell you. Um, but I need to figure something out. Yeah, journey and rolls. Page one. Sit, and then I can use my uh, open spell ability and set an alarm on the camp. Okay. You know that's I not like a bad so. idea. Adventure notes. After the moon. Uh, travel rolls. So let's see, Radigund. Okay. So here's the deal. Here, this is this is going to work out just fine. After about uh, Radigund, how far out did I say you went? Do you remember, Ginger? You're probably muted, Ginger. <laughs> Ginger, you're probably muted. Oh, I just heard the our uh, door close, so she's probably not our, at her computer See? at the moment. Okay. Did I, did uh, I come both? flying into their camp? And uh... not exactly. I had a question for you first. About how far out did I? It, how much time did I tell you it it was going to take? Do you remember? No, I'm sorry. I don't even know if you said. How did we determine? I thought that I said, but uh, I, I don't remember entirely. So here's what we're going to do. Um, it takes about a half an hour, 45 minutes for Radigand to come back to where you guys are. And it's easy to find you. You've got a, a torch going. Um, you are near a brook of water, uh, so you can get fresh water from there. Uh, this appears to be something that is more inland than than uh, than uh, the the big river, the Great River, okay, uh, the Anduin. So it's very easy for you guys to to uh, you know maybe catch some fish or something like that. But sitting there trying to set up camp, you have a difficult time. Uh, so here's uh, let's see, here's what I want to do. Um, I need. Okay, from Yule to Enduota, I need a hunting test, please. Alrighty. No, no bonuses, no penalties, just straight roll. I'll just go keep. Boom. Oh. Nice. See, they call that an automatic success. I don't like it being oh. an automatic success. There's another one. Okay, but they only call hers great success. Why? Probably some of the other numbers. Let's see. Well, the first one here again, though. Oh. It looks like I rolled one Sauron's eye and one rune. Well, no, you no, you no, rolled no, a. No, the eye. The, okay, the for you the uh, if you roll your your cursor over the top of it, your mouse cursor, uh, it says dice Gandalf rune. Yeah. And then yeah. if. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then if you do the same with the six, it says dice standard six with Tangwar. Okay. It's, we just basically call that a Tangwar rune. Uh, Tangwar rune is what gave you the great success thing, but the it should have been listed as an automatic success because of the Gandalf's rune. Now I don't like automatic successes, okay? But the two of you rolled automatic successes on hunting, so you're able to find a great meal for the evening. Uh, let's say there's a doe that you're able to take down. Uh, you get it dressed. And and ready to go in no time at all. Um, the the sun has not been down a full hour yet, so um, so it's a good time for dinner. Uh, you can basically work on getting a fire starting. Um, Luthwin, you don't really need to roll anything, but is there anything you want to do with the speakers? 
Uh, no, not at the moment. Okay, and Radigund, uh, let me uh, let me get you in here. So let's see, Radigund the Silent. Here we go. Um, I uh, re remember we were talking jokingly about uh, hooting or something. So I make uh, some funny hooting noises <laughs> as I approach. <laughs> twice like a brown owl, twice like a barn owl. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys hear that. What do you do? I pay him my mat and go. I mean, I start going in that direction because I remember the conversation from. Uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, how many of our arms with those? By Durin's long beard. <laughs> By Durin's toes. Well, uh, <laughs> Neither me nor uh, Norin were even a part of that conversation, so you're just making these noises out of the blue for us. Well, actually, yeah. Radigan, leave yourself where you were for just a moment. Uh, uh, where was I here? Uh, right there. There you go. Okay, I need you to roll an awareness test first. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm here, Radigan, rolling an awareness test. Yes, no modifications. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, you are able to pretty deftly step around a few bodies, orc bodies that are laying around. Um, uh, you notice arrows sticking out of them. Uh, pretty, yeah, pretty much just arrows. Um, <laughs> I, I I collect some of these arrows and I bring them with me and bring them back to um, I'm assuming our archers are Lithwin and Irwald. Yes, that's right. Yeah, so I'll collect if I happen to see any. I'll I'll collect them and I'll bring them in. Okay, I'm I'm not going to make you guys keep an accounting of arrows or anything like that, especially not for a supposed one shot. You know that just doesn't make any sense. Okay, it is eight thirty. We've got one hour before we're supposed to be done, so um, we're going to kind of make this short and simple. Um, you guys get camp set up. Everything's good with that. Uh, Radigan, you can go ahead and go in now uh, if you want. Um, right, and I, I I tell them what I saw ahead. Okay, um, go well. You and I were in a separate channel, so if you remember, go ahead and tell them what you saw. I said up ahead is a what, what was that place called? Kind of an island. Uh, well, <laughs> it was called the Fall Rock. Uh, actually, you uh, anybody who is a woodman would know what the Fall Rock is. Yeah. I would know it. Yeah. Do you think you would know it? Or would you uh, definitely Alpha, know it? Alpha of Mirkwood grew up in the woods. So uh, that doesn't mean that you there. you know everything. Um, let's see. Let, let me go over to Stone, uh, yeah, the Stony Fort area really quick, that map. Um, because that tells me how far away it is from Mirkwood. I want you to bear in mind that um, Thranduil King is very he he doesn't like to let his people go too much he doesn't open his 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 uh doors too often because of all of the evil that is out there particularly the spiders but if you go to the easterly inn uh, in fact you know anybody who wants to come over to the stonyford area can see what i'm talking about uh that map um anybody who goes to the easterly inn um knows that that is is ensconced right on the edge of Mirkwood okay and even from there each one of these hexes is 10 miles across okay and oh, and, and okay, that's then, never mind yeah that's flat side to flat side now there, there are 20 miles in second edition no no there's still 10 there's still 10 oh, i found that out see, oh, see the end of uh the rules in or the, the raga in ruins of lost world. Yeah. Um it's twenty miles. Well, let's see. It's like the last page. Yeah, I'm looking at the very last page right now, but uh, anyway it, it you know in in first edition and this is a first edition map, okay, uh, each mm -hmm. one of these spaces is ten miles and 
on the normal, you guys in, in first edition, you would have crossed two of these spaces in a day, uh, unless it was a bad, a, a pretty bad, nasty type of terrain. Now, um, so the trip to Thranduil King's Halls, the Halls of the Elven King, is another 110 miles just from the Easterly Inn. Okay, so the likelihood is Luthwin might know a lot, but doesn't know everything. Got it. Okay. All right. Then, okay, you guys get the the brook squared away. Um, uh, so those of you who are woodmen would know what the fall rock is because it is uh, a, a point of... Bad activity, if you will. Okay. Um, uh, orcs have been known to use it in the past. Uh, it's just not got a good reputation. Let's put it that way. Um, so, uh, what else was there, Radigand, that you can remember? Uh, that it seems to be a, a brigand hideout. And it seems to be where our Suspect is headed. What was his name again? Sedwick? Uh, Senric. Senric. Yep. Yeah, Senric seems to have headed straight there. There are There is a camp of uh, a rather uh, large camp, actually, of uh, armed people. And this uh, it seems to be a brigand camp, maybe? I don't know. Uh, if if Sedwin was ahead of us, um, they weren't in a big kind of uproar. They were uh, calm as if they, as if, you know, nothing untoward had happened this night. So they were either expecting him or, or it's business as usual tonight for them. They are jumpy, though. They didn't seem like they were there for any good purpose. Understood. I, I described, I saw at least four around one of the campfires. There's multiple huts and multiple campfires. So oh, this could be a really big camp. Then we're going to need to rest before we take them on. Okay. And, and heal so. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yeah. Resting after the combat, within the first half hour after the combat, even if you start resting at like minute 29 and then rest for 30 minutes after that, regains you one half, rounded down, of your endurance. So if you took 20 endurance, you would get 10 points of endurance back. Now, why? Because combat is a difficult affair, okay? You are moving around, you're trying to dodge... Uh, uh, swords and arrows and spears and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, so it tires you out quickly. So part of the endurance loss is, in fact, half of the endurance loss is just simply from trying to to be, uh, you know, to to be mobile and to fight. So so half of our maximum. You get no, back? no, 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 no. Half of what you lost. So take the difference between your max and, and your current and then cut that number in half and add it back to your current. Okay. But they have a short rest button and a long prolonged rest button. Do they? Whoa, on whoa. the character sheets. Whoa, do yeah. they? Oh, hold on. Let me check that oh. out. Bjorner, come on. Pop open. Oh, Pop yeah. open. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Under, it's under well, so a short rest, you can either take a short rest or a long rest, okay? Where is it? Yeah. Uh, under... Too long is a one night rest. It's right yeah. under endurance. Oh, hey! Okay, so a short rest, click to recover endurance after a short rest, which is basically one hour. I guess it's one hour in, in there. Click to recover endurance after a long, prolonged rest. Hold on a second. Let me find something out. Okay. Rest. No, that's resistance resting. Page 71. Ooh. Let me find out what this is because I need to know if the rules have changed from first edition to second. 
Okay. Uh, let me, uh, resting. Let me step away for a moment, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. With a short rest, adventurers recover a number of lost endurance points equal to their strength rating. Wounded heroes do not recover any points at all. So if you're a wounded hero, you don't recover any points um, for a short rest. Okay. I did not know that they had changed that to their strength rating. It is not your strength target number. It's your strength rating. So if you've got a five, that's what you recover in the way of endurance points. Okay, so that makes things a little bit more difficult. Um, let's see. Prolonged rest under normal... What's that? I pressed the button and it automatically did the math for me. Yay! Well, that, that was for a short rest. Um, so we may be undoing what you just did. Um, so hang on. Because I need to read prolonged rest. Under normal circumstances, the company is allowed to take a single prolonged rest each day, usually a night's sleep. The lore master may allow the group to take more than one prolonged rest if the player heroes are recovering in a safe and comfortable place. Uh, let's see. Okay, you, you guys, you can take one short rest followed by a prolonged rest if you're going to stay overnight. So... Yeah. So, Catherine, what you just did to hit the short rest, that was fine. Um, but then you can take a prolonged rest as well. And that's sleeping through the night. Oh. Okay. Well, it's telling me, it's giving me an error. Okay, what, what is the error? One and only one community actor should exist in the world. One and only one community action should exist in the Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Did um did uh Catherine's pushing the short rest button um uh fix all of you guys? Uh yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Okay, but that you cannot for me. Huh? I I had to press mine and then I I pressed it myself. Oh, Okay. Uh, but I also got that error message. Okay. Well, then... Well, I pressed mine, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it fixed it or if it, or if it was that error message. I, I wasn't paying attention because I was looking at the error message. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then, uh, in, in that case... Um, it fully healed me and whatever happened. Oh, Okay. So then that that should have been true for everybody then. Okay. So we're going to we're going to drive on to the next day. Yep. Let me let me make so a we're change. We're taking a long rest. Uh okay. Ross, did you click on prolonged rest? No, I clicked on short. Okay, so the short rest had already been pressed. So anybody else who who pressed short rest after Catherine did would have gotten that error message. So you guys can also sleep through the night since it's kind of early in the evening and stuff like that. You can take one hour for a short rest after the combat and then the prolonged rest for the night. So, can uh, uh, Ross, would you uh, please press prolonged? Well, it, it healed me already, so it's giving me the error message now. Oh, okay. Prolonged as well. Okay, then, then... I didn't get anything from that. Okay, then don't worry about it. Um, yep. okay. But if I were to press it, I would also, I would get the bonus, because when I pressed it earlier, I got health back. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, Walford is not here tonight. So, so we're taking a prolonged rest? Um, that's what's happening? Yeah, basically. Yep. Uh, Eagle we, is We're here. taking a short rest, I would think, you, because if you, we... No, we stay here for long because we're staying overnight. Yeah, well, if, that from that? if you guys are staying overnight, it's counted as a prolonged rest. Well, I would recommend that we take advantage of what darkness we can if we're going to uh, uh, find Cedric. Cedric, I mean, yeah. I mean, the, the darkness is going to help those of you who can't see in it. So, yeah. It, it 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 hindered us finding the orange. So what we do is we get up early, like right before sunrise, and we go attack. <laughs> All right then. So pro we hit the prolonged rest button. Yeah, only one person needs to do it. 
Yeah, so, it. Not, so no, not one person. Every person needs to do it. It won't heal for, you otherwise. For the prolonged rest? Yes. Okay, but we don't um, look I mean, if 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 it doesn't matter anymore. It healed me, so yeah. For it you, it healed you. Work. Um, it but really you weren't the only one who took damage. Uh, you yeah, you I took know. what fourteen points? Luth went, and yes, I did. And when I hit for a long rest, it healed me up. I'm fully healed. Oh, okay. Um. That's weird. That that takes away a lot because there was five from five from there. You should not have been able to do that much. Um, one oh nine. Let me look at this again because that that's sounding like it's way way too much. Um, or uh, that again. This was for prolonged rest. Yeah, but. Uh, the the rules are that if you're in the wild and you're doing even if you're doing a prolonged rest, um, it uh, 71, not 109. Uh, it's not supposed to heal that much. It might be a bug that needs to be reported. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, page 71. Come on, Paul. Okay, prolonged rest under normal circumstances. The company is allowed to take a single prolonged rest each day, usually a night's sleep. Lore Master may allow the group to take more than one prolonged rest if the player heroes are recovering in a safe and comfortable place. Player heroes taking a prolonged rest recover all lost endurance points or a number of endurance points equal to their strength score if their wounded box is checked. Okay, that's definitely a change to the rule. So, uh, yeah, all of your endurance points uh, should have been healed. Nobody should be at a, a deficit for endurance points right now. Is anyone? No, I'm fully healed. Okay, and I nobody was... Hurt, though. Huh? I never even got hurt either, so... Yeah. Okay, so that, it, it, it works. All right, then... So let's see. Um, okay. At the Fall Rock. Okay. So we're on to part four here. Okay. Do, uh, uh, Radigand, do you take them the same way you went? Or did you want to try and go more to. Uh, more to the northern shore, or I'm I, yeah, northeast. Um, because there's actually a bridge on that side that you guys see as you're traveling one way or the other. Yeah, and I can't count on them being as athletic as I am. Very true. <laughs> okay. uh, on the other hand, there might be uh, the bridge might be guarded, so I I. I explain their options and let them pick. Okay. Um, well, look. Um, hmm. Let me see. What are my walls looking like? Oh, I don't have any walls here. <laughs> Great. Uh, I thought I walled this off. Perfect. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to preload scene. Okay. And then I'm going to have all of you come over. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. You guys see the scene now? I see uh, yeah. nothing. Hey, there we go. What do you mean you see nothing? I see it. I see half of a bridge and then the rest is just gray. Yes. That's uh, what it's supposed to be. Do you see water? Yeah, I zoom out. I see out. a island. Wait a minute, you see the whole yeah. island? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. dag nabbit! That's not what you were supposed to say. Okay. Maybe I should because I I, I look, I'm in there already. Actually, yeah. yeah. Huh? <laughs> I forgot to change it to token vision. Okay. Hey, now it's all Mark can't see shit. Okay, then in that case, <laughs> I, yeah, I, mean, I can't I see it. Where now? 
Jamil has seen something, right? Okay, hold on. Hold on just a second. Vision has vision. Update token. Okay. Now, oh boy. Who's next? Okay. You old. Um, vision has vision. Update token. Now, wait a minute. You guys should still be able to see something, but you should. It. What the I hell? Even, I can't even see my token. Well, that's okay. Hang, my name. hang on. My hang on. Oh, vision. Has vision. I wanted to do the has vision thing. Okay. Uh, Got to fix all of this. Vision. Okay. Update token. Then I've got something wrong on the map itself. Um, which, of course doesn't make any sense so go back and configure lighting scene to the vision of controlled tokens if disabled the entire scene is visible oh fog exploration okay let's see if let's see okay let me see if that helps at all no of course not God, I hate how this works. You would figure. Okay, well. <sighs> Fog exploration. That doesn't make any sense why it does that. So, okay, hold on. I, I've got to look at your individual tokens here because um, you can see the whole damn island. Uh, I can see it. Uh, not, not, the whole, yep. not the whole island. What do you mean, not I the whole island? I, oh, no, see, no, no, I see the whole island now. <laughs> not really. When I, you it all the time. I've got <laughs> something wrong here, but I don't know what it is. Um. I mean, I can just test my ears, so, though. And move so on. Sorry, that feature. <laughs> With the game. But that doesn't yeah. make any sense. I set the walls up. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to go with what it is. Um, so you guys are at the north of an island. North, northeast of, of an island. You were able to get to a place where, uh, where you could cross uh, to a point where you can see the island and there are like rocks and stuff and timbers that are in the way uh, to allow you to kind of step over there, but you don't see any boats from where you're at. Uh, all you see is is kind of a rock outcropping from from that point, okay? Um, uh, Radigand did not want to take you, and she explained this to you, she did not want to take you by the path that she went last night because it was it was treacherous. Well, you get to this area and you get across Okay, and you see there's a long bridge in front of you. <sighs> that just doesn't make any well, sense. I'm going to first on the bridge. Okay, so go ahead and set yourself up right on that first square. Uh, the heavy armor is you. I know what it is. I haven't set up your token vision yet. Okay, so anyway. Yeah, um. Our archers should be where they they can go as well, in case we're discovered on the bridge. Okay. Um, yeah, and my, and my should be, uh. Close yeah, move along. along. Yeah. We can, uh. Hide behind that little palisade fence. Yeah. Uh, you know, we can kind of de deploy here and here once we're off the bridge and yeah. peer down in. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, and, and that's all fine. Um, do you guys have an order that you want to use to, to get across the bridge? Uh I mean, I'm fine going in the back. I would. Right? <laughs> I'm an archer. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, why, why is uh, Jordan Jer in uh, Rayhan's armor? That's a good they question. Have, they have many weapons? Or? Well, okay, what armor are the two of you wearing, apparently, Dwarda and Radigan? I've got a leather corslet on it, and uh, it's decorated with some feathers, uh, like from yeah, owls. I, 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 I don't care what it's the, decorated. Well, now, hold on. you got to be patient, Ross. you got to be patient, buddy. So, yeah, you've got the feathered armor. Um, and that's awesome. I think that only helps you with stealth, though. Um, it does. Okay. It, I'm very stealthy. Okay. And then, oh, did we forget to consider that when we were... Uh, no, no. Um, it's It makes all my stealth, stealth checks tests favored. favored. Okay. All right. So I'm wearing it, so they're favored. Okay. All right. So your stealth tests are favored. That that would have helped you. In fact, you didn't really need the help in the previous evening. And then Duota? I am also wearing a leather corslet. It's my noble armor. Oh, that's correct. Okay. So while you guys are kind of thinking through the... Um, the order that you want to be in, let me kind of address something, and Ross already knows this, so this is not necessarily for his ears. Um, remember that you're living in a time, your character is living in a time where uh, the, the greatest menace of your time, Smaug the Dragon, has been dead for five years. Uh, the, the various um, races of Middle-earth, the free peoples of Middle-earth, have been getting along fairly nicely. And it's uh, it's not really that high tension uh, of an area anymore. Uh, although of late, I mean, over the last like six months or a year, you've had um, various nasty things happen as certain folks, especially men, uh, uh, try and grapple for power within the area. Okay, before they lose. Uh, anything that they held before the dragon was slain and the Battle of the Five Armies was fought. So um, it's not necessarily a time of great suspicion. And in in the uh, in Middle Earth, it is you know if you do crimes and stuff like that, or if you just murder somebody outright, uh, even somebody who is a sworn enemy. Uh, who has maybe been disarmed, you can gain what are known as shadow points. Okay? Um, and these shadow points can really uh, mess up your day if if you're not careful with them. If you try and kill everything under the sun, you're going to gain a whole bunch of shadow points and you're going to go down a, a path of shadow. Okay? Where your your character can eventually turn dark if you will. Did everybody catch that? 